Hello and welcome back and today I want to talk to you guys about how to access your QNAP NAS over the internet. No doubt when you first got your QNAP NAS, when you were setting it up for the very first time, you unboxed your QNAP NAS, you bunged in your hard drives and you connected the NAS to uh, your router or switch in your home or office environment. Then you used a Mac or PC system to start configuring the device from the beginning. What you were doing there was accessing the device over the network. The network is effectively in its simplest form all the devices in your home or office that share the same internet. That's all it is. There's more to it than that, but that's the most simplistic way to put it. Now, network devices, when, they're acce when you're accessing a NAS over the network, what you're really doing is it's kind of like a big long street and all the devices from your smart TVs to your phones to your iPads, all the stuff that's using the same internet is using the same IP. They're all on the same road. And this little number here on the end, 10 in this case, represents its position on the road. So this NAS is number 10 on this road. My laptop on the other hand is probably number eight or seven. So the, the idea is that I can communicate with this NAS because we're on the same street. But the minute we're outside of our network, things change a great deal. And that is the, what we want to talk about today. How to set up internet access to your QNAP NAS and not just the network. Because as secure as the network is, maybe you're going to be on a bus or a train and you want to download the latest episode or something, or you want to back up your devices remotely over the internet and you want to take advantage of one of the many ways to access your NAS over the internet. So without further ado, and I've banged on for long enough, let's set this up, shall we? So what you need to start with is the My QNAP Cloud application. It's one of the things that's set up straight away when you first get your NAS. And when you open up that application for the very first time, this is the screen that you see. But in order to set it up correctly, there are loads of options here along the side that allow setting the device up for the first time and the entire configuration options. So first we click Get Started. From here, the wizard will advise you to set up a QNAP ID. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna set up remote access to this device. Now, what you need to do first is create a QNAP ID. This is very straightforward. You can do this with any email account or social media accounts. And what you're effectively doing is synchronizing the QNAP main domain server with your NAS. So when you're accessing the NAS, you're not directly accessing the NAS. You are bouncing off of QNAP's own main server. And QNAP's main server is now gonna have access to the login of your NAS. The result is that you can now access your QNAP NAS over the internet. See, I've already created an account in advance and we're using the standard disposable NAS compares email account that we've used in previous videos. Uh, I'm using um, a different kind of keyboard there. And on top of that, we've got to put in our password. Once you've entered that, the device will then look for your account to verify that it exists, and then it will ask you to name your NAS. I'm going to name this NAS, NAS Compares. It will check if that name is available, and then it will tell you what the internet address will be, and this is going to be how you can access your device. This is the URL that you're gonna to have to enter, which you can enter on the um, QNAP applications for mobile or directly into any web browser with an internet address. So we'll click next and we'll continue to set it up. Now, this automated system will also take care of a bunch of stuff in the background. You can say how you want the device configured, whether you've got other layers of security in place, and it will install and set up all of those background instances and applications. It, basically, it is creating the pathway between the NAS and the QNAP servers. And now that's done, we've now got access to the QNAP servers and the QNAP server has access to the NAS. So now, how do we access our NAS? Well, you head over to the My Cloud website and a simple Google will suffice. If you do a quick Google there, First result, my QNAP Cloud. And then from here, what you do is you log into your NAS server. You head up here to the sign in and you may see right now we're on www.myqnapcloud. And I think what we need to do to show that this is working is we need to disconnect this laptop I'm using from the same network as the NAS. So right now that is the network I'm on and that is my internet connection. So what we're gonna do is switch to a new internet connection. 
Now, this internet connection is a mobile phone hotspot, so it's a weaker connection, but moreover, now we aren't on the same network as the NAS. So if we go to the NAS and we press enter and refresh that page, the NAS will now no longer be found because we are outside of the network that I was on before. So now we know that this laptop cannot access that NAS. It's gonna keep spinning and nothing is going to work, as we can see there. So what if we sign in? So now we begin the sign-in process for the QNAP Cloud account. We go in for NAS compares. From there, we also add our password. And now we click sign in. You can obviously click remember me if you so choose. And now the device is going to load up your control panel on the MyCloud website. In order to get directly into your QNAP NAS, click this button here. This goes directly to the QNAP desktop. And as you can see, we're going via the web link and it's now establishing a connection between my existing internet connection and that QNAP NAS. And as you can see, now we're accessing the, accessing the same NAS, but this time we're doing it via the internet. And that's it. It is that straightforward to set up an internet connection access to your NAS. Now there are loads of other options open to you. You are able to create shared folders, access control and change it so independent users have certain amounts of control, as well as linking other NAS devices in your network that you own or that of friends. You can install other security certificates and there's loads of other options open to you on the MyCloud website. In fact, I should probably do a whole video just based on the MyCloud um, area just to give you some idea about the level of options open to you. But nevertheless, this has been how to access your QNAP NAS over the internet. Remember that this login that we've created here can be used inside the mobile app, and that's all of the QNAP mobile apps. So instead of the network, you can install your QNAP, myqnapcloud.com ID. And that is how you set up internet connectivity. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this. I look forward to telling you more about QNAP NAS throughout the course of 2019 and 2020. And of course, what new and big things are coming with their Turbo NAS series. Thank you so much for watching. Click like and subscribe if you enjoyed and want to learn more about videos from me. And I'll see you next time.